Hello YouTube, it's boy OGC Man, and today we got an only chopper candy skip the zesty allegations. I don't know, most people be doing this zesty stuff to, you know, try to get clicks and views and shit. That's kind of like, uh, don't promote it, but, you know, do you? I might say some outlandish stuff, I wouldn't say nothing on that type of time, and unless I'm with my boys and just trying to bother people, other than that, no. But without that being said, let's get started with the video. Yeah. Fabio, it let's looks go. like NLE Choppa caught another one. And by oh. another one, I don't mean any of those infections that the baby wouldn't be too fond of. Which Not are what baby. some people are alleging, considering how NLE Choppa's been moving lately. But NLE Choppa caught him another big song. I wouldn't call it a hit, because the numbers, metrics, all of that aren't there. It's not like a smash hit. But it's one of those songs that is one of his biggest it's his biggest song out right now newer song and i do see it growing over time kind of having that cult strong fan base of a song that grows in streams over time as opposed to just hits the charts plus it's a bit of a vulgar song so i don't know they would have to get a clean version and all that and i think nle chop is still independent well he has a big distribution deal but the song is called slut me out version two and this is more of a dance record it's kind of like a more of a house music kind of like edm ish it's it's a dance record overall and this song is doing numbers i remember the first time i had heard anything about it was from the lyrics and performance of nle chapa i think it was on rolling loud he was like if i was a bad chick i'd want to f me too and i sat there and i watched the clip you know how sometimes on instagram you open something and it plays and then it finishes and it's like oh do you want to replay this i replayed it just sitting there out of disbelief i had one <laughs> one hand on my cheek and my elbow rested on the table and i was holding up the phone with the other hand and i'm just staring in disbelief like how does somebody come up with a lyric like this what is going through your mind i ain't gonna lie i don't know how people i i miss i miss the old nle i ain't even gonna lie all the shot of flows all uh, his, you know, that era. If y'all know, y'all know. Nowadays, he just, if I was a bat, I want to fuck me too. It's like, where do you get that from? Like, on some real shit. Come up with this. I, I don't know. Maybe he was feeling himself to another level. I just imagine the scene from American Psycho where he's just looking at himself in the mirror while uh, smashing that hooker. And from that, I was like, okay, maybe. Maybe. But as of late, NLE Choppa put out a tweet and said, I want to perform S Me Out 2 at a Pride event in return of the love y'all showed me. Oh, And okay. with good reason, people are looking at him like, huh? Uh, wh wh what are you talking about? And <laughs> somebody replied and said, yo, this guy's zesty ass be tweaking. <laughs> and NLE Choppa replies and says, I'm secure. I know who I am. Show love. It won't hurt. And also, you do know women are a part of the LGBTQ community, right? You gonna hate them too? I mean, at the least, appreciate the women in that community if everything else make you uncomfortable, King. Oh, well, what if the women make them uncomfortable too? I'm pretty sure the guy's not looking at Brittany Griner like, yo, damn. I don't know where Emily Choppa was trying to go with that one. But this started out when he sent out a tweet in April saying, I'm noticing the LGBTQ community songs showing so much love to slut me out too and i simply want to say thank you what a surprise that that's the song that gets shown the most love idc what's normalized as a rapper i was raised to f with who f with you so thank y'all for appreciating my craft my music for all we do no discrimination of course he continues on with what some would say justification some others would say cope i understand me being in love with myself as a black man is so rare to the point some people try putting the homosexual jacket on my name but with all due respect i love all but my intimacy lies with women only okay okay i'm gay for showing love y'all men lost that's why we killing each other every day because y'all can't show love and whole time y'all be the ones that get down like that but be hiding it me saying that got nothing to do with my sexuality busta i don't know annalee choppa i think maybe people are killing each other every day in part because of the glorification of it and encouraging of it in music just like yours what you previously used to do it's a bit of a mix now especially not with this song this song's no violence here 
non-consensual violence. Non-consensual violence is crazy. But yeah, them tweets is just like, huh? Okay, buddy. And it's like <laughs> randomly out of nowhere. Too. So the point I want to attack is when he's talking about being secure. Why is it to demonstrate your security in your masculinity, it requires you to emasculate yourself? Why is emasculation necessary to demonstrate security in your masculinity? Somebody please explain that to me. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, like, you won't wear a dress? What's wrong with you? You're not a man? Oh, you won't put on makeup and high heels and acrylic nails? Oh, no. What's wrong with that? You don't want to wear drag? It's just for a performance? Like, you're not secure in your masculinity? No. Hey, dog, what? This is next level manipulation and gaslighting. But this kind is allowed, of course. So that's what I wonder. Like, NLE Choppa, has NLE Choppa worn a dress? Why not? Has NLE Choppa put on a wig and high heels and makeup? Nope. Why not? He just wanted to show love, right? I do think it is, I wouldn't say normal of NLE Choppa to want to broaden his audience, but I don't know if that's such a comforting feel. Because let's just imagine this, right? If NLE Choppa is performing at these events, at this specific crowd, and I think he's doing this because it's June, Let's be real here. The content of the song, Nelly Choppa loves getting himself oiled up, jumping around on stage, grinding on the air. The majority of that audience wants Nelly Choppa in one way or another. And Nelly Choppa claims he doesn't want them, supposedly. So is that even a comfortable situation to be in? You tell me, guys that are paying attention to this, would you be comfortable in a situation? Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'll just be like, thank y'all for the support. Nope. Nope. As a man, as a masculine man, I couldn't see myself going to a LGBTQ, you know, event and performing a song. Now. Especially if it's like on that type time and, you know, I don't have a problem with the community. It's just, I'm not finna go there. And then on top of that, it's like cer certain people in the community, uh, excuse my bad, community make it bad for all the other people who I know who are a part of com the community are cool as fuck. But them people who be trying to push the agenda and making you feel like you're less of a person just because you're not a part of the community, that's, that's, the, that's one of the main reasons. One of the main reasons. The main reason is just because it's just not me. Where you're performing, like NLE Choppa does, a song, and it's all dudes, and you know they're all gay, and they're thirsting after you. Are yeah, you cool with that? Gay, you know, and yeah. also, I want the, man, you know, I'm just getting to the bag people out of here. You're not allowed to give an opinion here. You're not because, to oh, man, you know, you, you just got to chase a bag. Those are the people that would be at Diddy parties. Mm -hmm. Those would be the people that Diddy would be hiring to smash Cassie for him, and they would let him watch. So we need your opinion to, you're just gonna have to put it down. So you know how people are at those auctions and they pick up that, is it like a flag or whatever it is? For this auction, you're banned. You're gonna have to put that down. Next auction, you can retrieve your opinion once again. I'm not surprised by Annalee Choppa for doing this. Although I do think it doesn't look that great if he's going to go back to more of this street rap style. Because at that point, if NLE Choppa gets into beef with any street rapper, all they got to pull up is a photo of him with rainbow flags everywhere and him performing a song with guys that are wearing thongs, grown men wearing oh thongs. God. At He's that still. point, how do you even beef with anybody? You just got to think of the future a little bit. Like I know 21 Savage still regrets holding up that I'm a hoe too sign and that whole saga with, what was her name? Amber Rose. I know he regrets that. And that will always live down with him. Or that will always be attached to him. And he'll always have to live that down. Mm -hmm. Not many people even beef with 21 Savage. And a lot of people have erased that from their memory. Because it's not as bad as what NLE Choppa is about to do. In terms of an optics perspective for what they're trying to represent. Now, you know you wouldn't see 21 Savage do this. We know that for a fact. We know we wouldn't see Pooh Shiesty do this. Or Moneybag Yo. But NLE Choppa is trying to explore it. And hey man... How much money is enough money? Is what I got to say. Mm. 
but I wouldn't even make a song like this. So I'm not the one to ask, would I perform it there? Question is, would I take that up? I wouldn't even make the song. So I wouldn't even be in the position that NLE Choppa's in. And it's not even like they're hollering at NLE Choppa. It's almost like he's raising his hand like, hey, guys, I'm over here. Like, I know you guys like that song, but would you like to have me perform it? So it's almost like he's overly eager to get a booking with them or something, which it's going to be difficult to beat the zesty allegations like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man, I actually do like NLE Choppa, though. The guy's he's a good sport. He's he's a funny guy we've somewhat seen him grow up on the internet he was like 16 or 17 when he first blew up with shot of flow he had the whole saga where he was supposedly curing cancer and giving chicks bbls with some cream that came from like guava or something like that <laughs> and yeah it was it was beautiful to see and then he quit for a while and started making this spiritual music and then came back and then now i don't i don't know if he's still vegan yeah pretty cool guy to see and he's maintained a career for five plus years that's impressive for someone to blow up young and still have a song that keeps him relevant right now and i think he still owns his masters he's just got a distribution deal we got to clap it up for Emily chop on that front so while we can make some jokes about him being overly eager to perform at some pride events we do got to clap it up for him in remaining relevant without doing Anything that's so cloud chasey, we're like, damn, dog, like, what? Are you- yep, we gotta give him respect where respect is due. But in terms of these allegations, my brother, I don't see you being them anytime soon. But that's the end of the video. Let's see, when we're in an era where no one is having hits or songs that stay, everyone is doing everything to name buzzing. That's true. Remember when he wanted to be spiritual? Yep. He trying anything to sell records, A on L. Not gonna lie, I don't really see how what he's doing making him zesty. Them tweets. Them tweets and just Ah oh, no, nah, I got yep, I got to get off after I seen that one. But anyways, yeah, them tweets and how he want to perform at a Pride Month concert is kind of, and he's eagerly trying to push it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're not escaping at that point. But it's your boy, OGT Me, signing out. Yippee.